Hey everyone, hope you're all doing okay. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video, the watercolor one, that I was going to uh, make a video and talk about like health crap and because my health has been crap. But um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't been able to make videos. I haven't been able to watch videos either like I would like to um because I love to watch other people's videos and engage and all that and it's been very difficult because um I think I mentioned this before I suffer with chronic pain um it typically comes in the form of migraines and when these when these hit it's a nightmare um as fellow migraine sufferers will know I um I've, I've had these since I was a teenager, so uh, I'm not new to this, but I very literally am a vampire. Um, I cannot, so it's the migraines and it's also a combination of sensory issues uh, as well. Well, kind of like more than usual sensory <laughs> issues, because I know if you have migraines, um, you're, you're, super sensitive to light and, and sound and all that as well on top, you know, more than usual. But again, being on the spectrum, I'm also extremely sensitive to light. So I'm a vampire. You know, I, I can't. Um, it was bright here a couple of days ago and I wanted to die. Like I felt there were daggers in my eyeballs. Like it hurts so bad. And, and I'm trying to like, my family is incredibly understanding and supportive, but I'm like trying to explain to them what it felt like. And they just looked at me horrified <laughs> because they're all like, oh, it's sunny. And you know, it's been a long gloomy winter and I'm just like, God, make it stop. So yeah, um, I've been playing with this deck, the Le Vampire. So I just thought I would, mm, it's upside down. <sighs> Another high quality production from yours truly. Um. Yeah, I thought I would just flip through this so you guys, like, had a visual. <laughs> the visual with my rambling, but I swear, like, it's been, oh god, it's been really tough. It's been <laughs> really tough. I have not been able to, um, go outside. <laughs> I haven't even been able to, like, be next to a window because it's been so bright. I've literally been sitting in the dark. And I, um, I'm better in the evening, so I'm like dreading spring and summer now, which sucks because I actually do enjoy spring. Spring is beautiful, but I've had to kind of accept the fact that this is just the way my body is and I, I have to do what I can to like work around it but it can be deeply frustrating because I can't do anything you know I can't look at a screen for too long um it's hard to have conversations because you know the pain can like and I mean in my case it causes a lot of confusion almost because it's just it's overwhelming and it's exhausting um and I I <laughs> I did start thinking about it. I'm like, my God, I really am like a fucking vampire because I, I just, the light is, is too much, um, to deal with. And it just, it aches and it triggers everything. So it's so difficult, but I know there are a lot of people like this. I know a lot of people sort of deal with this sort of thing. Um, and so I'm just, <sighs> This is why I'm, I haven't really been able to do the things that I would like to do that I enjoy to do. And it's, it's, um, you know, it's just one of those things, I guess, but it's annoying as hell. Um, my migraines are typically hormone induced, so it's a cyclical thing, but at the same time, um, as I mentioned, you know, if I'm not careful, Sensory issues can also trigger um, pain. So if I'm not hydrated or I haven't eaten well that day or 
or whatever if I get a little over exhausted or whatever the case is um yeah it's annoying what can I say but um yeah I do kind of laugh about it and call myself a vampire sometimes maybe that's why I I'm really connected to the vampire mythos. <laughs> um, but also, I think there's another layer of it. Because um, the night... I think I've talked about this before, about how the nighttime was always um, a source of comfort for me growing up because that's when I was safe from any sort of violence or anything. Violence in different forms. Um, so for me, um, I found sort of that piece in the nighttime so it's just kind of interesting how my body still does that um I'm better now I do I do sleep more but um you know when I was younger I could survive on very few hours of sleep because I just kind of got used to it um but that's different now I'm sure this video is completely all over the place and makes absolutely no sense but um <clears throat> Yeah, I was just, I don't know, this is a deck that, so I had the other version which was glossy and then I replaced it with the matte version when I gifted my other version and I'm, I'm glad I have it. I mean, I know not everyone loves the artwork for some reason, the vampire one is the only one I have of hers, I know she's got a lot, but uh, this one does kind of speak to me, it's the whole... What is she calling them? Like the children of the night? It just made, I don't know, it made sense. It resonates with uh, with me, who I am, who I was when I was younger, and all that stuff. So, yeah. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been dealing with. It's an on and off thing. I mean, it's chronic, and it doesn't go away. <laughs> and I... I refuse to be put on on heavy medication because I fear addiction because I have a very addictive personality and I had to um, stop drinking because of that. Um, so I, I stopped drinking for that reason and for the fact that it was causing me pain. It was triggering headaches. So I didn't want another factor. But because um, every time I've seen a doctor, it's like, oh, we'll just drug you up and I I just I can't deal with that it, it doesn't feel good I know it'll probably get to a point where I'll have to but for the time being I'm just literally waiting it out sitting in the dark I have a reprieve at the moment I feel fine right now recording this um it's nighttime it's cool where I am so I feel fine <laughs> but um, it's been a very difficult few days, I have to say, um, you know, and, and this comes and goes, but yeah, it is what it is. And I know a lot of people struggle with this and have it worse even, so I shouldn't complain, <laughs> but, um, you know, I hope to try and, and like do more stuff when I don't feel like I'm dying, you know, because it's incredibly frustrating, um, because I'm just, like, laying there, and I can't do anything, and sometimes the pain prevents me from, from sleeping, um, and it's like, gosh, if I could just, I mean, I can't even, like, I can't even listen to anything, or, you know, let alone look at anything, so, it's it's deeply frustrating, um, I'm seeing everyone post all these videos, and I want to watch so badly, <laughs> So hopefully I'll be able to like binge watch all these videos and and enjoy everyone's stuff and you know before the next wave hits. But um yeah, I just I just kind of wanted to get on and say hi with this really happy video. <laughs> but if you are uh someone who suffers with chronic pain, you know, migraines, whatever it is, oh my gosh, I <sighs> I feel for you. I I wish you ease and and healing and many many pain free days and nights. Um, pain can really mess with you. It it really can change you, and it's it's it's.
it's hard to deal with. It's hard to cope with. Um, but I am trying to hold on to these moments where I feel well or well enough to be able to act more human than a vampire, I suppose. But in the meantime, <laughs> I have to accept all aspects of, of who I am. So that is all. Um, hopefully it won't be too long before I next make the next video. And um, everyone take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.